Michael Floyd, wide receiver from Notre Dame. He's going to be taking some of your questions, and let's get it started. So, Michael, what's your pregame ritual? Well, my pregame ritual is, uh, you know, just listening to slow jam music, and uh, most importantly to me, what gets me to, into the mood of uh, playing ball is listening to gospel music. So, next question is, when did you develop a love for football? I developed a love for football uh, when I was in third grade, and I've been playing since. Uh, my dad was a coach, third grade to eighth grade, so, you know, he really got on me, you know, to try to be the best that I can, and, you know, I, I went forward from there to, you know, high school, college, and now to the NFL. You did some testing with GSSI today in the lab that's behind you. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? The GSSI uh, experience was, you know, one that, uh, you know, you, you won't forget. Uh, they put you to uh, various different testing, uh, VO2 max, uh, it, it tests your endurance, uh, and then they also test um, your reaction to things and how your eyes can, uh, you know, your per peripheral vision on uh, certain things and how you react to it. And uh, the last but not least, but uh, they put you on a bike for 30 seconds to test on the strength of uh, your legs. Did you learn anything in particular from this testing? Uh, I learned uh, at the end of it, you know, they they went through kind of the, the test and what my results were, and, uh, you know, they always talked about hydrating as, you know, Gatorade is all about hydrating. But also they talked to me about the nutrition side, you know, how important that is to make sure you get in um, your, you know, your carbs and your proteins and all the other different kind of things. Cool. Jumping around a little bit, um, we're here at the Super Bowl. Who are you cheering for on Sunday? Um, uh, someone from Facebook wants to know. Uh, Super Bowl game. Uh, I'm not really cheering for anybody. Uh, I think it'll just be a, a great game to watch, which uh, I will be watching. So someone wants to know, uh, Gatorade obviously has a slogan, so win from within. What does win from within mean to you, someone wants to know? Um, win from within uh, really means to me just, you know, Having that, you know, having that leadership uh, on a team, uh, and being able to uh, pick everyone up, you know, when everyone's down, and going through, you know, all the kind of criticism and uh, kind of, you know, the highs and lows of, you know, a team. Cool. Um, someone on Twitter wants to know who your biggest inspiration is. I think my biggest inspiration uh, would be my mom. Uh, just, you know, seeing how hard she works and, you know, dealing with the kind of situation she has, you know, raising five kids uh, basically on her own, you know, and getting through it and uh, putting me in the best position to be successful. Uh, you know, that's my biggest inspiration. What advice do you have for high school athletes? Best advice for high school athletes, I would say, uh, you know, just do what you got to do to put you in the best position, you know, to be successful. And also, um, you know, going through this GSSI uh, kind of testing deal, you know, I think starting nutrition there is, uh, is a big key because, uh, you know, that will just make you a better athlete. So that's one part of being in Indy this week is what you've done here, and, and you, you might be doing some other things. What is the best part of being in Indy this week, someone wants to know? I think the best part about being in Indy is, uh, seeing all the celebrities that you see on TV, uh, you know, you don't get the chance to, you know, really meet them. But uh, this week, you know, you, you finally get a chance to see them up close and up person and just see what kind of people they are. We're shifting uh, back to football, uh, your football, and, and uh, someone on Twitter wants to know, what is your most memorable moment at Notre Dame? Uh, my most memorable moment at Notre Dame is, uh, you know, finally beating USC after, uh, I guess, so many games we played again. I think it was an eight-game losing streak against them. Um, to finally pull it off uh, last year against them in their um, home stadium. That's cool. Um, how do you stay focused during a game? Uh, I stay focused during the game, basically, you know, just making sure I stay positive with myself and uh, keeping my composure. And, uh, you know, if something bad happens, you know, you got to go out there, 
the next series and, you know, try to, you know, change the thought of what you have in your mind. Going back to nutrition, how much time do you focus um, on what you put inside your body uh, before a game? Uh, before a game, you know, I kind of put in the same kind of nutrients, you know, uh, in college, you know, there was always a pregame meal for everyone before the game, um, and you had choices on what you wanted to eat, and basically it was, um, you know, I had my protein, my carbs, and, uh, you know, mostly everything on my plate to give me the energy and the uh, endurance to play in the game. Um, outside of nutrition, someone wants to know what's one piece of advice you would give the uh, an athlete prepping for a really big game, a playoff game, to use an example. Um, before a game, you know, uh, advice that I would give is, you know, making sure you putting in the right things into your body and making sure you're hydrated before the game. Uh, that's really important because uh, people think, like, uh, the day of you're supposed to hydrate when actually, you know, it might be a day or two uh, that you can get started to make sure you can perform at your highest level. Um, okay, I've got two final questions. So uh, one is post-game, what do you do to help your body recover? If it's uh, after a game, if it's a home game, uh, I go right to the football facility and uh, get in the cold tub, and I stay in there for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes and, uh, you know, just watch TV, and, you know, that gives my body a great recovery. Okay, so this is the last question from our friends uh, on Facebook. Someone wants to know what the, you know, if you could name one thing and they want to take their game to the next level, what's one thing you could suggest to take my game to the next level? To take your game to the next level, I would say, uh, you know, just working on the little things. Uh, and you already know your, your um, you know, the things that you're good at, making sure you know, perfect on uh, your weaknesses and making sure you know, you're going through it you know, every day and making sure you're getting better at it. Okay, that's all we got. Thanks everyone for the questions and uh, tune in for more chats this week.